That's kind of an interesting decoration. Oh, it's a bonsai plant. It just looks really weird. Oh, he's reading about terraforming Mars. Oh yeah, I just love the idea of having cockroaches on Mars, see? And they're gonna turn into big ugly monsters, okay? Then we're gonna have really high bug people fight them, okay? That sounds that sounds great. Get me Animax, okay? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fund this anime. It's gonna be great. Oops, I did not mean to take the drink there. Oops, I did not mean to drink it. And yes, I did. <laughs> Oh, bah. Now, far be it from me to tell what drinking should be like in video games. I don't really partake in it myself, but I don't feel like this is how drinking works in real life. You just instantly turn into this mess. Now, what am I looking for in here again? Now that I'm here, well, what are we doing? Search for the escape pod key. Okay, uh... Ah, ah, so it's not in an obvious hideout then. Yeah, the whole oh yeah, the whole subplot in case we want to escape instead of. I used up all my neuro mods. I can't get hacking too. Because I could really. I. I, I I'm still, like, wrapping my head over back in Alex's office, like, what the other way you were supposed to get into his office was, apart from moving that box away. Like, like these games are all about coming up with uh, several ways to advance, so I, 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 there must have been something else you could have done to get in there, but I, I just don't get it. Because my plan worked to get in, yeah, but, you know, then I had to move the box to get out. I would have been trapped there. Um, where is the hacking... Is it security or science? Oh, this is hacking. Oh, I got four neuro mods. Uh, I got only one on me. This is gonna take a while. Aha! EP one hundred one. See, I, I, I was gonna say maybe the. Globe, globe's always, but I was gonna say that a globe's too obvious to uh, use. <laughs> At least I feel, but uh, that would have been a, that's a really conspicuous thing, but uh, I figured. Okay, so now. Oh, we got the whole. Oh, what's this quest? I've forgotten all about this. What? Search the security station in crew quarters for officer foul surveillance. Oh, well, I know where the security station is. That's on the way out. So I should probably look there once we're leaving. Okay. Cool. Man, we got so many quests while we were goofing about here in uh, here in uh, crew quarters. I uh, I can't even keep track of all of them. We still haven't done the chef one. We're, we didn't need to go to the rec room, which I kind of would have wanted to go to see if there was a game of Fatal Fortress going on there. That was what the D&D uh, &D game in this was called, right? Fatal Fortress? I think it was. But um, in any case, uh, at least we can do the surveillance report one while we go. Oh, you make nasty noises, you freaky deaky you. And I... Nope, you can't. You can't summon the blast outside for whatever reason. See, that would have been a nice, like, thinking outside the box is using their side attacks through the wall. Nope, no chance. Okay, 53 meters to the cafeteria, but this, is, this desk is right here at the concierges. Ooh, Argentino Perro was a guest of the World Cup MVP. Uh, in what? I'm gonna guess uh, football. Simply from the name, but, um, I don't know. Who knows? We found all these people? I don't remember running into all these people. Oh well, that's fine. Where is that one? Oh my god, he's right there. When did you get over there? I don't like how he always seems to be looking my way. 
makes me uncomfortable. I'm gonna make a quick save. I think I can take this guy if I use one of those... Uh, one of those... Ba -ba 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 -ba. These. Oops. I meant these. Catch. Not so big now, are ya? Holy shit. Huh. I, uh... I thought that would, uh... Thought that would severely limit his abilities. Instead, it just seemed to berserk him. Okay, let's uh, let's try the stealth route for a while longer. I really should have shot him up with this, shouldn't I? Freeze him in his tracks. Utilities. Oh, an area map. Yes, I would like an area map. Thank you. Thank you. That's useful. Oh, surveillance recording. Let's get that. That's what we were looking for. I got the container set up. This is pretty weird, Quentin. I know, but if we... I don't want to know. I'm doing this as a favor, that's all. Cargo container 3232. It's on the other side of Cargo Bay B, next to the utility tunnel. When I was head chef at the Space Institute, no one asked me to conceal food in a cargo container. Just go easy on the eel, all right? Oh, I thought there was something more sinister going on there, but... Uh... Something about food, I guess? Unless it was all, like, clever, clever joke talk. Okay, this time this guy's getting bopped like like there's no tomorrow. Just as soon as I make another safety save. And, uh, well, I know what I'm doing. Ignore my flailing here, like a madman. I totally know how to beat this guy this time. Uh-huh. Oh, God damn it. Urg! Let's party. Ah. Oh god, I'm sign nullified. Oh boy. So my great plan was to blow him up after I get in with the grenade, but... Um, apparently, I was in the blast range and my own psi ability was cancelled. Well, you know what? Let's stick with the original plan, which is glue this guy up once I catch him with the bomb. And BAM! What? Oh, what the? Oh, oh come on! I nearly got him that time. Yeah, I know swinging the wrench stain drain stamina, you careful, careful. Okay, chuckles. Oh, I got it on my... No, that's an EMP. I don't... I don't have it equipped. I, I swear this plan's gonna freaking work. Just... just check this. Ah. And this time, I'm gonna heal myself. And we're gonna continue the party. And I'm gonna glue you up some more. And I'm gonna pop you in the head. Okay. Would have guessed that the gun works better than the wrench. I just keep trying to save bullets, you know. So that's why I keep defaulting to the uh, wrench there. Because I used to have a million bullets because I synthesized so many of them. I'm a bit low on them now. I guess, you know what? I don't really ever use the disruptor. I could break these down and I get like 11 blips of those. That would be kind of amazing. Oh. Just cleaning up my mess here. Surveillance report. That's what we were looking for. About Dr. Annalise Gallegos. An associate Quinton Purvis and William Mitchell. The two guys we listened to. Subject left private quarters. Presumably to report for first shift. Verified with psychotronic security. Subject returned to private quarters during shift hours. Reason unknown. Quentin Purvis was observed entering subject's quarters. Quentin Purvis left subject's quarters, observed carrying a portable drive. 
Subject left private quarters, walked to cafeteria, and was admitted to kitchen by Chef Will Mitchell. Subject left crew quarters, verified with psychotronic security subject, reported back to workstation. Subject returned to crew quarters, took meal into room. Curious. <laughs> so what did we get from that? No, no, ob objective. <laughs> That's the one. Okay, once we get to the cargo bay, we need to find a secret crate. Okay. Oh yeah, here's the escape Talos one, if you really want. But I'm not. I'm gonna see what's going on in this stupid place. There's too many mysteries for me to run away from now here now. But I like the option there in case like we get like a huge revelation and blowing up the station is a bad idea after all. Who knows? Please help me. There is someone trying to enter my room. I have nowhere to hide. Hurry. Oh, it's from the guest, Argentino. Hmm. Now, was that me a second ago? Did the phantom type that out? Because that would be really creepy. Ah, uh, it's too bad I didn't read this before I went up there. I would have known. Basement in space. Seriously? My quarters have no view of space? No windows at all? What is the one thing that a visitor staying on a space station might enjoy? Surely you have better quarters for Argenteno Perro. A basement in space. Oh, hmm. I guess the guest suite isn't f for important enough guests to see space. I guess that's the one of the, like, if you are, in the future, if space tourism is a thing, people are going to want to see space, even though that's a bad design-wise to have a window in space. I don't know what passes for sparkling wine on board Talos, but I assure you the flat piece your concierge deliver does not qualify. I poured it into the toilet where it belongs. I want a replacement as soon as possible. Better yet would be a bottle of that Sardar bourbon I understand your CEO likes. And more glasses as well. The others are broken. I see, Mr. Perrault was that kind of guest. Okay. FYI, the code to the fitness center has changed. Too many people had given out the code to employees that didn't have the service docked from their pay stubs. The new one is 8111, in case anyone who's paid for it forgets it. Thanks, Emma. Groovy. I wonder if we got the right code. I think we already got a code to the gym. Maybe that was the old wrong one? That'd be kind of fun. Okay. So Mr. Perot was um, quite the important guest, so to speak. Oh, that's that movie, Transgressions, starring all these not real people, like Antonio Froca. Patricia Wang, eh? Don't, hmm, don't remember recordings from her, like trying to piece all these people together in this world, I don't remember her. Okay, our last business in crew quarters is the chef in the cafeteria, who, what are we supposed to do to him anyway? Investigate the cafeteria. Guess we're going investigating. Man, it would be great to have an actual human to talk to. The only human who wasn't mind-controlled was that one guy in the greenhouse in the Arboretum moments before being mind-controlled. Everyone else has been a zombie. Or, you know, like this guy. Dead. Joseph McSorley. He is dead. Okay. Well, I checked in my reservation. Now the cook knows I'm here, I guess. Oh boy, this is scary. I haven't fought human enemies yet. Whoever you are, run. There is no more food here except you. If you are still a hold of your brain, good. Others here? Or not? Oh, that's the telepath so controlling these guys. The Boom. Great. Just give me a second there, Mr. Cook. We got Psychoshock 3. Oh, that's the skill. Psychoshock. Execute a direct psychic attack against biological targets for 45 damage and nullify side. Oh, that's a great skill. The question is, does it work on... Do, do the Typhon count as biological targets? If not, uh, it's only going to be useful against these humans. Which seems not super useful. This kinetic blast is way hyper fast. Their master is close. Kill beast or puppets or both. 
But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, maybe we talk. Okay. Oh boy. How do I take this guy out without all these zombies taking me on the way? I guess I could give this one another go. It worked so well on that etheric phantom. A telepath. Oh. So I was going to, going to try and make a run for the telepath, but he, these bombs are sure load up faster than I could expect. I mean, he just told me they're bombs. God, I'm stupid. <laughs> but I thought I could get to the telepath before they realize what's going on. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try the actual way I'd normally do this. Since, instead of being a dingus, try to sneak up on this guy. And let's fix up our suit while we're at it. Yeah. Okay. Let's party. Yeah, let's scan some humans. Boy. Scan complete. More specimens required. I wonder what we can learn from scanning humans. That seems really silly. Well, let's see what we got from scanning humans. We got mind jack. Oh, because they're mind control, so... So we got that skill. Also frees humans from Typhon mind control. Oh, that would be great. That would be groovy. Don't mind me sneaking in the cover and making another save, just so I know I have that skill <laughs> recorded. Okay, let's see if I can sneak past. Is there a takedown choice? There is no Dishonored style takedown. I'm just gonna have to take this telepath out before all these guys swarm me. And that's gonna be a toughie. This is not no easy mission. I've never fought one of these guys before. I don't know what kind of effort it's gonna take. The uh, Technopath was Goddamn pain to take out. Uh oh. Uh, the... This telepath is all nicely positioned in the wrong place, but now let's see if I can overwhelm him this time. Making no promises, but we gotta give it a guy. I, I gotta try and save these people, right? Oh, sh <laughs> whoa! I think I, I get it. I think I got swarmed by someone again, or then that telepath just causes a huge explosion. I don't know how I'm gonna save this cook. This mission s seems crazy hard. This telepath seems really, really tough. He's got so many mind-controlled guys partying here with him. Am I gonna have to put down a human being? To sneak up on this creep? I wish I didn't have to. Those guys spotted me already. The, the fact that they, like, still have some sort of awareness of themselves is really uncomfortable. Okay, well, I've gotten him lured out. They all seem alerted now. Oh, good. He's been lured up. Oh, yeah, I should use this to slow these boys down, shouldn't I? Jeez, there's a guy sneaking up here, up the stairs, I think. A telepath. Oh, that's... That does a ton of damage. Forget the zombies, this guy can bop me. Just 
Slow down, Lisa. You are tearing me apart. Ah, he's almost dead. How many bullets do I have? Oh, I have so few bullets left. No, Franz! Franz! Oh, you... Oh my god. Come to kitchen window. Let me see you. Oh no. Oh, France and Lisa, I, uh, I I did the best I could, but I just couldn't I couldn't stop him fast enough. I'm I'm really sorry. I wish I could have, but I, I just wasn't up to the task. Hey, let's eat some stuff while we're here. While we're in the cafeteria. Because I'm hurting really bad. I might as well get rid of this stuff now. I mean, I could synthesize more medkits out of them. But I don't I don't know how many I could make. We'll just make do with that. Now, the real question is, these guys, are they still okay? Okay, okay, not these guys, because these guys are dead, but the guys who were mind-controlled previously. They're unconscious. Oh, thank goodness. I managed to save them. Oh, a weapon upgrade kit. Sweet. But I'm really running out of stuff to upgrade here. Um, I guess I'll upgrade this. I guess I'll get the recoil. No oh, ammo capacity. I never have that much shotgun ammo, now do I? Oh well, man, I was trying to figure out what's the smart way to beat that guy, but then I just ended up spamming him with bullets. This pistol is an amazing weapon, I feel. It's just really good, but... Uh, but, regrettably, it, uh, it does end up with me running out of bullets, like, all the time. I hope I can synthesize some more soon. Need to find a synthesizer somewhere. I can't remember. Was there one in the Arboretum? Ah, hey, I have a map. I should check the map if there's a synthesizer somewhere around here. Yo! Hey! Your, your suit. What is in your name tab? You? Um, am you? Am you. You killed this yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go okay. there. Get my... award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. Weren't you on the recording? Weren't you on the recording with the, the Quinton guy? Typhon Ganglion? We haven't fought something called a Ganglion, have we? Oh, no, it was from the telepath, I guess. Also, he doesn't know who Morgan Yu is? The vice president? Didn't he sound, like, all different on the... Re what the... Why? Why? I thought that guy was completely... I have to almost go re listen to the recording again, just to be sure, because that's too weird. Uh, recycler fabricator. There's one in the kitchen. Oh, man, I need to get that guy to let me into the kitchen. Looks like the only fabricator in the apartment is there. C crew quarters, whatever this place is called. Okay. Cool. So what? Are, he wants an award from his... All right, we'll go have a look. Ah, oh, another human. Who's mind controlling this one? Back off, G. Can you, maybe. Whoa. Who's there? 
Oh, he looked really different for a second. I, I wasn't sure. I, I thought, I thought he was like covered in goop. Man, why are they? And I had to goop them, like not the goop I thought he was covered in. Like I'm gonna have to just goop goop them. Or I guess I could use this skill. Damn it! I'm sorry, Fong. Hold up. His head went boom. That's not good. I better turn off that escape pod prompt while I'm here, by the way. Just to... Can take that off. Oh, no, come on. There we go. We'll worry about that at some other point. I'm going to go check out the cook's room next. I just want to listen to this. Oh, I already got the recording of Coco. Okay, okay. Um, where, where do you get the... Data. Uh, data, that's what I'm looking for. I just want to listen to... Where is it? Audio logs. Look at that, that guy looks completely different. No, no, no. I'm doing this as a favor, that's all. Cargo container 3232. It's on the other side of Cargo Bay B, next to the utility tunnel. When I was head chef at the Space Institute, no one asked me to conceal food in a cargo container. Just go easy on the eel, alright? But he's still called Will Mitchell, right? Something, something is super fishy. Here. Also, that camera is looking right at me. I just noticed that. That's a bit alarming. I, I don't... This is confusing. Like, Will Mitchell over there looking like freaking Hans and Franz. While the guy in the... Guy in the... Actually, the guy in the uh, kitchen is... You know, some other dude. This is the cook's room, huh? Why, why, why the spooky music? I, uh, a bit perplexed. Oh, I don't want to smash this window just to get at that. Is there a poltergeist in here? Oh my god. It's like poltergeist music. I, th I think we're okay. Transglutaminase, a naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein-containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls, known colloquially by chefs as meat glue. Chef Shaw's tip. Gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Cool. Ah, oh, okay. So you can make fake meat with that, or synthetic meat. Sounds great, actually. Wait a second. Is, is that is that us? Is that us, Morgan? Yet the guy over there didn't recognize us? The guy whose picture was completely different? Oh, cool, another no, Danielle recording. I didn't see it as an override, per se. But it was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet in this show. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst and <clears throat> This is an AB conversation skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way. Aw, Skillet. You're so cute. I like it. So he, he made a conversational operator guy for, for like, I don't know why. Also, this is funny. Look, a backstabbed in the face. That's an awesome name. I never noticed that before. Hey, we're gonna do some hacking. Oops. Ow! Ow! Oh, car powerful, powerful. See. Let's find out what's going on with this guy. Huh. Will, sorry, sorry to contact you during your downtime, but Alex has been working through the four shift and has put in a food request at the front desk. 
He says you know what he likes. Could you bring his meal to the executive suites? The code to the grav shaft is 1825. Oh, we learned that somewhere already, but here's like another place to learn it. Cool. Oh, this is from us. Oh, 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 oh no, help, help. Morgan, hey, I guess you must have shifted cafeteria visits or taking food in your quarters now. But wanted to say thanks again for the emote upgrade. You should hear Skillet now, much better. Don't think Danielle liked it, so hopefully that doesn't cause any trouble between you two. Don't be a stranger. There's still plenty of your favorite snacks in stock. Just swing on by whenever you get a breather. Appreciate the help, Will. No problem. Don't worry about Danielle. M. And he has a picture of us. Hmm. I think Mr. Mitchell was kind of crushing on us a little bit. Which might... Morgan may have known about that. Hence why she decided to stick in her room. I don't know. It could also be that this was when Morgan's mind was being wiped by experiments. Who knows? It's a bit of a mystery now, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. That's... That's interesting. But I, I, this mystery... This is now the biggest mystery right now is... Why this guy in the recordings is so different. Why is there a guy pretending to be Will Mitchell? Why? That's beyond mysterious. But we got his Macon Noble Chef Award, so we're gonna take that to the guy and... Uh, what was that noise? We're gonna take that to the cook and hopefully get access to his synthesizer. And get on with the main quest, finally, in the next episode. So, see you then, guys. Goodbye!